Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. This one I'm very, very excited about. And this one goes out to a, with a massive thanks to uh, everybody knows him, everybody loves him. It's Ed Five, fellow South Australian here. He picked up this uh, Mandalorian and the Child Hot Toys figure. It is the deluxe version, TMS015 is the co-product. So he bought this through my store where I work. And uh, yeah, he hasn't been able to come down and pick it up yet, so he very graciously allowed me to, um, gave me permission to actually open this thing up and do a review on it. And uh, in return, I'm actually just going to post this up to where he lives. He's about three hours north, he's a very busy man, but he's an absolute gem of a human. Um, and uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, cracking this open and then, then being able to send it to him, so... Love to love to get this in his hands as quick as possible. So I'm filming this unboxing and review today. So thanks again, my friend. I really, really do appreciate it. This after the week I've had, um, being able to do this is uh, absolutely making my day. So I'm just trying to plug my camera in. There we go. So yeah, this I'm not going to cut or edit at all. I'm just going to go with the flow. So sit back and enjoy. We're gonna open this one up. I'm really, really looking forward to it. So I'm just going to do it as nice and clean as I can. You know, it's been a while since I've opened a hot toy. Um, I've pretty much had to sell all of my collection, uh, sadly. All of my hot toys collection, which is a pity, but I needed, needed the money for other stuff. So, so yeah, we got a nice look of Mando down here. Very nice image of Mando with Grogu in the pram. So yeah, the deluxe version basically just comes with the pram and a base. So yeah, I'm just gonna very neatly put it down there on the floor. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of artwork here. So I'm gonna slip that forward and have a look. So, straight out of the back, straight out of the back, let's have a look. So we have a Camtono, we have the Mando, we have all these accessories down the front here. It's very nice. I may actually need to go and get a knife just to sort of slice the tape. There's one Grogu and two Grogu, which is absolutely fantastic. There's the base of the pram down there. So uh, yeah, bear with me for two seconds while I will edit this out, while I go grab a knife. <laughs> All right, so I've got my trusty scissors here. I'm going to just lay it forward and slip off the base of the box. Nothing exciting about that, just a black box. All right, so let's see what we can do here. All right, so a little bit of tape there, a bit of tape there. See, so we have the accessories. All right, so we have flame effect. Let's get these out one by one. So that's really nice. We have whistling birds. That's a really nice looking effect. Yeah, piece of gauntlet there. So that's that's nice. It looks like we switch out nice and easy. We have. The Beskar Pauldron with the Mudhorn Signet emblazoned on it. That's just Velcro on the inside. I said to um, Ed Five when he told me I could open this, I'm like, I'll do it, man, but I'm going to be tempted to buy my own. <laughs> so here we have the little necklace, which is just, that's so tiny, but it's amazing. All right, what have we got here? Looks like that is the helm flashlight attachment for the helmet. That we also saw as an accessory with the Black Series Mando helmet, which is great. So yeah, some fantastic stuff. We have the grappling hook. So that's nice. We do have the whistling bird attachment here. So adjust my lighting a little bit. So there we go. So it looks nice. We have his blaster pistol. 
Beautiful piece, that's really nicely detailed, nicely sculpted, fantastic. We have also, uh, some of these parts have been reused from the first Mando figure. So we have one of his little thermal, thermal sticky bombs that he throws on the TIE fighter, so that's nice. That was also with the first one. We have the uh, Bounty Tracker. We have a Beskar Ingot, which is really nice. Sort of just sort of see that swirly patterns in it. Looks really good. And we have his knife, which is fantastic. Needs this to uh, take out the mud horn. So that's fantastic. That looks really cool. Nicely weathered. Great little piece there. Uh, then we have five changeable hands. So we have a left hand trigger finger. We have a right hand. Yes, and that's the knife knife holding hand. We have a left fist. We have a right fist. And we have a right trigger finger. So we've got those sort of accessories out of the way. Let's uh, let's keep going. So there's gonna be some more tape here somewhere, I know it. Maybe there isn't. There is no tape. I was expecting a little bit more tape there, but that's okay. All right, so what do we do first? Well, let's get a look at this Camtono. So that's really nice, that's beautiful. A really nice piece. These doors hinge open. Nice spot to store the uh, Beskar ingot there, that's really nice. And the detail on the inside is beautiful. A really cool little hinge system there. Which I will work out as I go. Beautiful piece. Yeah, I'll have a closer look when I can uh, get that in front of the camera a little bit better. There we go, that's got it. Funny little system there. Not the easiest of, uh... that's nice. A little nicely detailed Camtono. All right, so. Here we have, oh, there you go. Stack of Beskar ingots, that's really nice. Nicely sculpted piece, that's beautiful. And that will definitely sit inside. And we have the Bounty Puck, or a Bounty Puck, with the hologram of Mando here. So it looks like to be, it looks to be a Pretty nice piece, that's great. All right, what have we got? We have some extra pegs, I'm not gonna worry about taking them out. We have some small batteries, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll let, uh, I'll let Mr. Ed5 have, have the fun of uh, doing all of the electronics and stuff like that. I just wanna look at the figure. So here we have the Ambon Pulse Rifle, I can't think of the real name. And uh, looks like the scope comes off, so you can have Mando like, scoping through that. See, that is accurate to the show, so that's amazing. Beautiful little detail there. Yeah, really nice, beautiful piece. So there is this leather, little leather strap that will hook onto his shoulder. Fantastic, that is really, really, 
Really beautiful to be honest. That's fantastic. Really nice wood grain pattern in there. All the little scuffs and details. Absolutely stunning. That is a beautiful, beautiful piece. Alright, so here we get the uh, the shell of the top shell of the uh, the crib. So we have So we have a little, a little blanket in there. A little Grogu. He is sort of sculpted just to sort of sit in there nicely. So that's really well done. So you can lay that out. Just have him sitting in there. Head moves. Oh my god, that is freaking adorable. Honestly, that is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, it's, it's gonna happen, I think. I'm gonna be buying my own. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be buying my own. Wow. So there it is, I'll put that aside, because I'm sure there is a base for that somewhere in here. So we have the little Grogu here. Now I imagine the heads are probably swappable so you can have the two different looks. But, uh, wow. Absolutely amazing. Look his little feet. That is just stunning. A little glossy eyes. Oh, it melts my soul. That is absolutely amazing. I love it. I absolutely adore this thing. This is incredible. All right, so let's get Mando out. Bear with me for just a moment while I remove all the little plastic plastic wraps they put on them just to sort of protect protect the figure as it's uh, as it's coming. All right, I'm going to move that to the floor. And we'll get a quick look at Mando here in his Beskar. So I love the uh, love the alternate things here, so you can just pop that Velcro pauldron off, pick it up off the floor, and put the uh, mud horn signet on. Which, why wouldn't you? That's just too good. So yeah, fantastic. This is uh this is absolutely incredible. I'm just blown away. So yeah, those, you can put the slot that one in there. There's a holster there for his pistol. Another strap there on the back. The dings and dents in the butt plate there. Really nice. Could be where he pulls his knife from. I can't, I'm not sure. But that's a little magnetized there. So yeah, probably. I don't know. I'll have to work that out. I don't actually recall where he pulls the knife from. Yeah, nicely detailed. Love that sort of armor plate there as well. That's going to be Velcro as well. So it will look to be Velcro. So when they do do. Um, Further releases of Mandalorian, you'll be able to switch out that armor plate for the one he updates it with. Boots, ammo cartridges around the base there, the boots. Absolutely amazing, this thing is just stunning. The cape, there's a rip in it for... I don't know, I assume that's for the... For the jetpack, but I don't know whether it's... I'm not sure if it's... It looks like it's been cut purposefully but I'm not sure why because it's the only one I thought it'd be look a little bit more worn than that but we will see I hope it's I hope it's not a defect in the fabric it, yeah really hoping that's not a defect so uh yeah we'll take a close look let's just stand him up there for a minute 
I will retrieve the rest out of the last of the packaging. Alright, so we have a base. Alright, so here we have the sandy base, which is really nice. A beautiful little plaque there, footprints, spot for the stand, and a uh, piece for this extra bit to sit on the side, or either side, I suppose, it doesn't really matter. It's sort of a nice little bit of maybe it is this side. It looks like it wants to sit there a little bit nicely, nicer that we'll see. So, this part we have is we have the flexible sort of stand so that stays in there, and then this will require a little screwdriver to loosen that and put that on there. So I will do that afterwards, unless it will just sort of slip over there, over the... No, I will we'll need to loosen that afterwards, but that's fine. I just don't have a screwdriver on hand at the minute, but that's alright, let's work out how this all goes. We have two more flame accessories. These will plug into the bottom of his jetpack. is right here. Check that out, that is fantastic. So yeah, they look like they will just sort of plug in nicely. Beautiful. Very nice, very, very nice. Let's see how this will attach. Magnetized, look at that. That is awesome. We gotta have the cape under it, on to the side. Yeah, that's that's cool. That is so cool. And then you can also have the pulse rifle clipped on. It's sort of draping over the back, which I assume will also be magnetized. No, that's right, that's the strap there, that's, so that holds the, that strap there holds the rifle down, I remember now. So at work we have the uh, first version of Mando in his first armour. It's a little bit fiddly from how I'm holding it and where I'm holding it, so you just have to trust me on that one. But yeah, that will do it. You spend a little bit more time playing with it than I am actually on this video. So <laughs> just, uh, this is just remarkable, seriously. Absolutely amazing. I'm loving it. One of these little feet has popped off, but that's okay. It's an easy pop back. Uh, nice and simple. So yeah, pull that off again. Jetpack. <laughs> All right. So what we have here is this extra display piece for I'm not sure where the. Uh, not sure where the rod's meant to go in here. Looks like that. Okay, so this stone is removable. So that's 
That extra detail, man, that's absolutely brilliant. And that plugs in. Then that plugs in there. And there you have it. The side on display. You can have Mando walking alongside the child. Just remarkable. Honestly, guys, that's... This is seriously a absolutely wonderful set, and um, yeah, I'm not going to mess around with the accessories and all that too much, because um, firstly, it's kind of awkward from where I am behind the camera here. Um, yeah, then to have this other other Grogu right here, this nice little extra. That's that's just insane. That's incredible. What a beautiful, beautiful piece. Tell you what, I am. I'm going to try this out. So there you have it, the whistling birds firing off. That is remarkable. And uh, yeah, I have to work out how the uh, flamethrower effect works. I'm sure it's simple. Let's just put that stock standard one there. So I wonder whether that just sort of slots in under somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, can't really tell where the uh, flame effect's gonna go. If I spend some time and look at the uh, instructions and stuff, but yeah, I know that's not technically where the flamethrower is, but looks like that's where it wants to sit, probably. No, that's all right, I'll have a little play around. I just don't want to do any damage to this while I can't really focus on it while I'm behind the camera here, so. But I'm telling you, <laughs> one of these could end up in my collection very soon. And I can't really afford to right this second, but um, yeah, just a stunning, stunning piece. These always blow me away. Again, I'd love, I'm gonna have to check out another review to make sure that's not damaged. Because there is a clearly distinctive hole missing from that fabric. It's not a cut. It's not a tear. That's been... That looks like it's been cut out. So whether it's meant to be a little bit of weathering for the cape, I'm not sure. Whether it's not for that belt strap to go through. So when the rifle hangs, it's on the outside of the cape. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna look at another review and just check that out because I'll um, definitely gonna feel bad if that's if that's a busted busted cape. And yeah, just trying to find a spot for where the where the knife goes because I can't re remember where he pulls it from. It's just down the side of his boot, I'm not sure. But yeah, there's re just remarkable detail on this thing all over. Just the uh, nothing head underneath there. I know they are doing one with him with the ability to be unmasked. It's also going to come with the Beskar spear. So it's probably not too far away. I can't imagine. But yeah, that's this is, um, an absolutely remarkable, remarkable piece, this one. I'm very much gobsmacked and extremely appreciative that I've had the uh, absolute honor of opening this one up for a good look. And uh, I'm absolutely blown away, so thanks to the generosity of uh, 
Ed Five, he's a he's an absolute gentleman, and uh, yeah, oh yeah, beer mate. I absolutely look forward to catching up next time you next time you're down this way. But yeah, this is uh, brought me a lot of joy to a week that <laughs> has been a little bit more difficult than it was than I would like. Um, yeah, big thing, big big changes happening now. So um, yeah, I'm I'm really excited to just sort of sit down and, and have a play with this. So I appreciate everyone hanging out and watching. That means the world to me. Um, appreciate everyone's support. You all rock. You're all fantastic. Um, love every single one of you. Keep on keep on hanging out and doing doing awesome. I hope everyone else is having a great 2022 so far and. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try my hardest to get some really nice photos of this thing, um, really showcase this this figure out out in the open a little bit without getting it dirty, because <laughs> I'd hate to send this dirty, but uh, up to um, where Ed Five is. So, again, I appreciate everyone watching. I appreciate you checking out this fantastic piece. Just looking at all the little accessories it comes with, absolutely mind blown. Just beautiful. Well done, Sideshow Toys. Um, amazing. That's all I can say. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please, sound out in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you got to say. Um, yeah, that's that's basically all I'm going to do for this video. So again, seriously appreciate it. We have all the uh, accessories and bits and pieces there. That comb tono just blows me away. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Ed5, I hope you've enjoyed watching this, mate. It'll be on your on its way to you very, very shortly. I will uh, reach out and grab your address because without it, I can't get it to you. So thanks very much, everyone. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you hanging out. And until the next video, may the force be with you, always.